Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here for Pop Turnative. Speak to Alan and Matt about Loot premiering on Apple TV Plus June 24th. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having us. This show is so amazing, I just want to say. And I feel like after episode two, you're rooting for all the characters, which is great to see. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's awesome. Matt, you know, we're not really, like, this isn't really a new thing, but I feel with, you know, a lot of workplace comedies, there's always a serious undertone and a lot of heart. I'm just curious, do you feel like that just happens or is it planned? Uh, I would say it was planned with this show. Like, I think yeah. one of the reasons when we put together this idea of a billionaire who gets divorced and gets all this money and has to figure out what to do with it, like, it was very clear right off the bat. It was like, we can talk about wealth and we can talk yeah. about inequality. And I don't think we ever want to be preachy about that stuff, but we definitely knew that some of the characters she's meeting, like Sophia at the charity, will be pushing back against her. So I think actually, I don't know if you agree, that was, I think, one of the reasons we were most excited about doing this. Like, it wasn't just a show about a bunch of people who work in a bank, right? Like, no. it felt like it had this underpinning that was really interesting and was like really rich. Uh, and that was, I think, one of the reasons we like went after it like we did. 100%. Alan, so the Molly Sophia friendship is amazing and it's great. I'm a really big fan of, of the Howard Nicholas friendship. Yeah. That's like one of my favorite <laughs> things. I love that. Can you talk a little bit about that, developing that, seeing that on script, seeing that transform on the screen a little bit? I'm glad you enjoyed it. We really enjoyed it too. It was something from, you know, script stage on, we were like, Let's hope these guys work together on screen, and they really do. And it kind of turned out we ended up casting Ron Funches and Joel Kim Booster, two really funny people who are stand-ups and amazing creators in their own right, and it just seemed to work. I mean, some of our writers were talking about it's kind of like a cat and a dog who, who become friends, and it's like, what if you had someone, you know, what if you had someone like, like, like Howard, who's just so indefatigably positive and friendly, and then someone who wants no part of even being there, and just can he overcome him? his sort of defenses and his walls and it's so sweet they're so funny together number one but number two like there's something you buy about it and there's something yeah. about their friendship that again is very heartwarming in my opinion i you know what happens in eight nine and ten is is to me really uh you know some of the strengths of the show so i'm glad you responded to that those guys absolutely no absolutely matt molly is doing a lot of soul searching she's doing a lot of self-reflection after a sudden change in her life with a divorce during this pandemic a lot of people have been doing a lot of soul searching and self-reflection. So the show instantly becomes more relatable because of that. Have you thought about that at all with Alan a little bit about that component of it? Oh, yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> we, we definitely, I, we wrote this over the pandemic and I think we were both going through our own emotional issues as everyone during the pandemic. But like, I know one thing I was thinking about was a lot about like meaning and like yes. what what meaning do you ha give to your life, especially when you're not allowed to do anything except just like sit in your room and think about meaning. You really be like, what am I going to do to like leave my mark? And I think that was very much like what Molly's journey is. It's like, OK, this horrible thing's happened to me. I've been humiliated. I've been divorced. What she what ends up happening is it's an opportunity for her to live a more meaningful life, even though she doesn't see it at the time. So I think that was very much like in elite, in both of our brains for sure about like tracking this journey throughout the season. Absolutely. And Alan, I just wanted to ask you, you know, when you work on a lot of like workplace comedies, you talked about, Matt talked about a little bit in the beginning. I mean, they're so popular and people love them. And sometimes, like I said, there's some characters that people like more than others. I'm rooting for all these characters and everything. In your opinion, you know, working on the workplace comedy for quite some time, what do you think is the appeal specifically? Is it kind of what I said, you know, just like these different characters coming together, the heart, like what do you think specifically? I'm curious about that. Yeah, I think the biggest thing honestly is where are characters living that you want to hang out with? And when I live in mean, what show are they at? I mean, literally, like, you know, so, like, we've been watching, we've been rewatching Parks and Rec, and it's like, man, 
don't you just want to hang out with Ron Swanson? It's like, it just seems like a fun, like, it's just like an interesting guy. I do, it's like, absolutely. Yeah, it's just like an interesting, funny character. It's like, yeah. that's that's the ultimate goal, right? Is to create characters that seem so real and and sort of three-dimensional and and funny, right? And funny and charismatic in their own way. So our, our real challenge with the show was, how can we make each and every one of these characters three-dimensional in addition to being funny? Think about what their wants are, what their hopes and dreams are, and sort of what their vulnerabilities are and how they interact together like a puzzle piece. So, um, yeah, that's the joy of it is who are the characters you want to hang out with? Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Loot's going to be premiering June 24th on Apple TV+. Plus. I really love the show, and I can't wait for people to see it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in to Poptternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Poptternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Poptternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.